Is tinnitus physical or is it psychological? I often get people saying I had a physical cause to my tinnitus, so how can you help it with psychotherapy? This is showing quite a big misunderstanding. If you have a physical cause of tinnitus, for example, loud noise exposure or a car crash, and that causes damage to the cochlea or it causes your system to go into fight or flight, <clears throat> then this creates tinnitus temporarily, but there's no reason why it should carry on forever. But as for whether it's physical or psychological, the central nervous system responds to everything. So if you have physical trauma or physical shock, of course that can trigger tinnitus. Just as if you have emotional trauma or shock that can trigger the tinnitus, the auditory system is very close link, closely linked in with the stress response in the central nervous system. And it is an everything um, situation. The, the, the nervous system is physical, emotional, mental, energetic, hormonal, structural. It holds everything. So thoughts, feelings, um, physical shocks, physical trauma, um, all of these things affect the central nervous system. It's one central nervous system that links the whole thing together on all levels. Because tinnitus sits in the auditory pathways, which are part of the cerebral cortex and the limbic system and the brainstem, it's very, very linked into everything else. So the sound environment will have a, an impact on your tinnitus. The emotional environment will have an impact on the, the tinnitus. How present and grounded you are in yourself will have an impact on your tinnitus. If you're calm and settled and relaxed and you experience well-being, your hearing is not going to be hypersensitized or acute or listening out for danger. <clears throat> so if you can drop yourself into a really calm, grounded state, the way you're hearing is going to change radically. So people who think psychotherapy can't stop their tinnitus, I'm not suggesting that everybody should have psychotherapy. If you have an emotional issue, if you've got family dynamics, you can't switch off and you're constantly angry or whatever, psychotherapy can really help settle your system, help you work through your stuff, which can in turn help your tinnitus. But if you've got a, a fractured wrist, um, psychotherapy is not terribly useful. It's much better to have hands-on work and to wear a plaster, to have medical attention, maybe painkillers. Um, so this activation and pain can cause my nervous system to <clears throat> jangle, to be rattled, so which can activate everything. Um, what, what matters is that you get the right kind of help to help your system switch off and drop back into a state of well-being. Because in well-being, your hearing's going to stop listening out acutely, and that's going to help your tinnitus. So if you have tinnitus, you need to think about what are my issues? Am I a stressed out person with huge emotional needs? In which case, go and see a psychotherapist. Am I a, a person who's always been very tense and very reactive? My life is okay. I don't have any particular... Um, relational issues at the moment, go and see a cranial sacral therapist because that will help relax your nervous system and help you let go. Um, if you have lots of chronic aches and pains or your spine is out of alignment which causes you no end of stress which keeps your tinnitus going, then go and see a, a chiropractor or an osteopath. They are, uh, they are brilliant for realigning you and getting you into a much calmer, more comfortable place. So tinnitus, unfortunately, sits in the nervous system, so anything can activate it. So if you find the right path for you that soothes you and settles you, 
and then you're going to make it much much easier to let go of tinnitus and for the tinnitus pattern to back off we all have to find really enjoyable ways of unsticking our mind from tinnitus so staying stuck in a moaning group freaking out about tinnitus is just going to cement it olympically into your consciousness that's not going to help you but if you find really lovely calming soothing activities and practitioners that take your mind off the tinnitus <clears throat> and focus elsewhere then you're going to start unsticking your mind from the tinnitus pattern our brains are very plastic very changeable and you don't want to be fueling your tinnitus with anxiety or fear you want to be soothing yourself taking the focus away from the tinnitus and dropping into things that make you feel calm and relaxed whether you have psychotherapy cranial sacral therapy osteopathy practice yoga whatever it is that gets you to switch off and feel fine